Mr. Hisner here. Today we are going to be looking at truth values um, and truth tables just in general. So uh, whenever we have a truth table, so this would be the truth table for P, just for one statement. So P is a statement, right? P is a statement, Q is a statement, R is a statement. These are all things that we've seen so far. So this is a statement. So whenever you do a truth table, you have to consider the possible outcomes. So if I'm considering one statement, if I'm considering this one statement P, there's two possible outcomes. It could be true or it could be false. Um, so we'll see in a second how this changes when we look at two statements, but for one statement, we need to consider true or false. Um, and when we, when we negate a statement, it's just, just the opposite thing. <clears throat> so true becomes false, false becomes true. Um, so the negation is pretty simple. You just flip the uh, item. So here in this conjunction, we have two statements. We have <clears throat> both P and Q. Now we need to consider the possible outcomes for this statement. Well, um, Half of the time, the statement will be true, and the other half, it will be false. Um, and if you notice, the same thing is true for Q, except uh, half of the time is true, except we're now staggering them. And the other half of the time would be false. Um, so as we construct our truth tables, this is basically the way that we set these up. The first column will be uh, half true, half false. The second column will, will be some alternating. Um, and if there's a third co column, we will alternate further. So we will see all of those. Uh, as well. So here we go. So this is the P and Q. This is the and operator. So um, two, two trues are the only, two true statements are the only way for the and operator to be true. Uh, so if P is true and Q is true, then P and Q is true. If true, if P is true and Q is false, well, then the statement is false. That's how AND works. If P is false and, and Q is true, it's still false. We need, we need both. And if the statements are both false, well, then, of course, we have a false statement. Uh, let's see how this looks in, in opposition to our disjunction. Disjunction, this operator here is OR. So for OR statements, we only need one of them to be true for the statement to be true. So two trues, that would be true. Uh, again, one of the statements, true, makes the whole statement true. One of the statements, true, makes the whole statement true. Oh, look, both statements are false, so the whole statement is false. Um, so that is just how we go through and set up these truth tables. Now, I want to look at uh, one with three variables just so we can see how to set this up. So this is P and or P or Q and then in parentheses, um, my bad, I'm sorry. This is P and and then parentheses Q, P or parentheses Q and R. Sorry, that was a, a bit of a tongue twister there. But really what I want to do, I'm just going to rewrite this over here so we can see it. P or Q and R, not a and R. Um, that's how I always remember it. I just make the little, and then I, I Imagine the, the good little cross through it to make it a capital A. That's how I always render it. So we got P, we got Q, we got R, we got Q and R, and then we have our whole statement, uh, P or Q and R. All right, so half of these have to be true. So we got true, 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 true. Half of them have to be false, 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 false. Um, and we need to start alternating. But if I just started alternating my statements here, true, false, don't do this, true, false, true, false, then what would we do with R, right? How could we do that further? Well, because there's three here, we can kind of start to chunk it. So true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. And now, and now when we go to do R, we can do true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. So if you look, uh, there is a 50-50 chance to get true and false for each of these values. However, each of those ways is distinct. Half and half, two and two, one and one. Um, so, you know, the just general rule is you chunk this one by four, chunk these by two, chunk these by one. You just kind of keep breaking down your integer values. And, th and then we do these in, in bits here. So uh, parentheses require um, priority. And so we'll look at uh, Q and R. So true and true is true. 
True and true is true. Um, then we have true and false, that's false. We have false and true, that's false. We have false and false, that's false. We have true and true, that's true. False and true and false, false and false, false and false. And so now what we have to do is consider um, P, which is, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of, kind of, kind of, you know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these up because I'm considering P, P or these values, right? P or Q and R. So these are my truth values. So now I'm thinking, okay, or statement. So now I'm thinking or statement, right? So true or true is true. True or false is true. True or false is true. True or false is true. False or true is true. False and false is false. False or false is false. False or false is false. And so that's kind of the, the operation. So you do the parentheses first, and then um, when you're considering, no, let me just move this down, my bad. When you're considering the other, uh, the remaining operation, um, you want to just consider this column here like we did here, just consider the column that we had done, and then the, the variable that you're looking at. So I'm, I'm kind of covering this up. So, you know, with me either mentally you can do this or, of course, with another piece of paper, a ruler or something, maybe even just with your pencil. All right, guys, thanks for watching.